so today's topic is encapsulation this is a feature of object oriented programming yesterday we saw classes and objects classes we can say the container and memory allocation to that container elements is object so object oriented programming because object holds all the things and we make use of them with the help of object so for a minute we will forget that static word because object oriented means it is understood that definitely not a static if it is static it's okay it will not come under object oriented that is not at all part of this topic we can say so for a minute let's understand that none of the variable none of the functions are static that means it is object oriented it will place the things inside something called object uh, if i place everything in object now question arises should everybody use everything answer is no imagine you are manager of the company what you will access the functionalities there is a security guard in the company he will not access everything right a manager he may say okay i am also calculating income tax of the company suppose will that security guard will say i will suddenly come today manager is absent i will go to his seat and i will start calculating income tax how much income how much tax we are paying absolutely not if some other manager is there let him do but if no manager is there let that work hold for today but you cannot allow the security guard to come and do the things so in this case if i will think about functionality one functionality is called calculating income tax functionality means function right open bracket close brackets sometimes we give some coding so this is called function this dot dot indicates some coding in layman's terminology we say functionality calculating income tax is a functionality and that has to be coded inside something called function similarly security guards responsibility is to put the attendance so suppose i will have another functionality called put attendance all right here also some coding now i might be having a class called attendance because this class is all about putting attendance calculating attendance how many number of working days that guy has attended last month many things that is all about attendance but i can have another class called manager and all data and functionality related to that management i can keep inside this so this is called manager class and this is called now security class or attendance class this should be used by security guard and that should be used by all managerial people so we divided entire functionality it may be more functionality also accounting maintenance manufacturing system stock maintenance payroll calculation so many things can be there in a entire program or you can say project but we are considering only two part suppose to understand everybody will not have every responsibility if that is the case that means indirectly you can say technically every class should not have every accessibility that means this class called attendance should not access calculating income tax 
and this class called manager should not access boot attendance have you ever seen topmost manager of the company coming and sitting in the gate because today security guard is absent and taking the attendance from the employee they might be arranging something else but they will never say ceo of the company or md of the company will come and sit in the gate because today security guard is absent they will not say so this is an example where we can say everybody's responsibility is there only but some cases are there some class responsibility will be said to some other class responsibility that is second case we will go to that later but in this example we saw managers class data and function manager should use attendance data and function only security guard should use so this managerial people i will say object of managers and the security i will say object of attendance that is the way we can make equivalent to all these elements called class function data variable as well as object so you already understood the concept what it is supposed to be that means if security guard is absent manager is not supposed to put the attendance for every employee other way around you can think about but no or instead of manager i will take it as ceo of the organization let's say you can take it more important ceo of the organization will never come to gate and sit in a plastic chair asking every employee please come here show your id card and i will put the attendance do you think so never so that means first level understanding is if i have two three classes each class responsibility should be belongs to that object only none of the class functionality or data should be accessible to none of other class if that is the case then how to do so when we say encapsulation encapsulating data and functionality is encapsulation let me write it here encapsulating data and functionality as per their accessibility how do you mean as per their accessibility manager should only call this function security guard should only call this function that is called as per their accessibility so if you have understood requirement of the organization and based on the requirement which category of people will access what kind of data and functionality based on that you are encapsulating them together we say it as a class then creating the object of the class in various ways and accessing them as per the required accessibility so that particular terminology in a single word we say it as encapsulation enabling encapsulation encapsulation capsule means what you understand a combination a group of so many medicines which are actually related each other suppose there is a particular disease to that disease some four five elements of the medicines is required what they do all those four five elements of the medicines they group together inside a cell they say it as capsule here also same capsule we are saying but inside that capsule what is there some data some function when i say data it is just like integer x is a data when i say function calculate income tax is a function i will not say x i will say here total income okay i will say here decimal uh tax percentage so if you know total income as well as tax percentage then easily you can calculate the income tax so what is the input required for functionality that we say that data so this is a data and this is a functionality already yesterday we saw what is data what is functionality and how to keep them inside something called class but just keeping is not enough giving the accessibility as per the requirement that is also important so encapsulation is nothing but grouping together the things first thing 
second thing as per the accessibility level providing them for example i will say this variable called uh, total income should also be accessible by attendance class anybody from attendance class then there is something called public word i have to use it that means indirectly saying today we are going to learn what is public what is private if necessary if we time will permit we may also understand what is protected what is internal so there are four levels of accessibility accessibility means the permission to call the function or permission to use the variable so who is having what permission based on that we have to use them so imagine i made it private that indicates this guy called total income only can be used inside this boundary only ceo can use it nobody else can use it because private if i made it public then not only the ceo but also this pe people let's say i will say it as security guard suppose security guard also can use but that doesn't seem appropriate so i will not make it public i will make it private so this understanding is encapsulation keep the things in place that's good only but after keeping the things provide public provide private provide protected provide internal understanding those terminologies and understanding the requirement of the project and implementing those four things in right place private public protected internal maybe we will not understand suddenly all four things in a single class but okay so that is called access modifier that is called access modifier in interview people will ask you say something about access modifier used in encapsulation so there are four access modifiers used in encapsulation one is private one is public one is internal one is protected in this chapter at least we will be understanding two things private and public protected and internal we will learn in next chapter so let's go to our program what we understood here let's do similar kind of thing that means i want to say if calculate income tax is public then outside this class also i can call this function if total income is private then outside this class i cannot use this variable whether variable whether function just understand one thing private means not accessible outside this class public means accessible outside this class so one or two variable will make one or two function also will make one variable i will make private one variable i will make public similarly one function i will make private and one function i will make public let's see how it behaves okay so private versus public is the first understanding in encapsulation then there is some feature called in inheritance after that we will understand something called protected so today at least let's focus about private and public so going to visual studio if one person doubt is there also it will be clarified when we will be writing a program now that means our demand is at least two classes will be there then only we will understand na, ki whether this is using that that is using this so at least two classes is required in our program don't you think so to understand this private versus public because inside same class everybody will be accessible whether private whether public whether protected whether internal anything inside same class nobody is stopping but matter is outside this class i am able to use it or not that is the case so to understand that let's have at least two classes one class is already program i will have one more class here suppose class is called uh, manager and security guard we have already discussed why not we will take that only 
I will take first manager. Okay. One additional class apart from program class manager. Then we will go to one more level called security guard also. So idea is if I will have some variable here private this class should not be able to use and if I will have something called public this class should be able to use that is first understanding we will see similarly for function also so manager has two activity uh, one activity called calculate total income tax suppose now we decided to take two variable one is how much total income and one is how much percentage of the task so let's take same thing only whatever you understood we will apply same thing only so private integer total income equal to i gave uh, something 9999 okay or if you want to give some easy number so that you can calculate i will give 10000 percentage of decimal i mean income tax percentage or uh, this one i will take public this one i will take private so decimal tax percentage suppose 12% I will say 12% of the tax will be paid as income tax suppose one public one private similarly I will have one public function called void why void because it is calculating it is displaying but it is not returning to anybody else the answer will be displayed in the same function then we have to tell void otherwise what answer it is returning to the color area color area means when it is calling calling in the main means if i want to return to main that calculated part then it will be decimal or integer as per what type of the data but this time we don't want to return anything after calculating we want to display then and there so go for void so here i will say uh, display total income display total income what is total income here simply this one so should i say console dot write line total income is curly bracket zero and uh, total income right similarly i will have another function called private you know void just to make the difference one private one public so i will say it as display uh, income tax how much income tax we are going to pay you display that so what should i display i will say something like this total income tax is okay total income is this total income tax is this so how much tax it will be multiplied by whatever percentage divided by 100 so tax perc divided by 100 if you want to take both decimal so that you can see decimal places also all right so i have two functionality but one is private one is public i have two variable one is private one is public as simple as that now as per our understanding if i want to use this total income here easy why it is public if i want to call this function display total income still easy because this is public let's do that first so how to call these functions guys should i call by object or should i call directly who can answer should i by object obviously because there is no static word as simple as that so i will create the object of this class so who will help me to create the object of manager class here manager very good new manager okay 
that means inside random access memory it allocated one area called object let's say here i will make it so always i represent this object like a green color thing so just to avoid confusion this time also i'm taking green color so in the inside this object called obj manager what it will keep it will keep everything but what will be accessed outside is total income and display total income so as per our understanding let's see whether it is happening that way so i said it will keep everything because it's member of class it kept it also it kept it and it kept two more things one is function this and one is function this obviously it will keep all four things because all are accessible inside the class but i will keep somewhere here okay so four things it kept inside but our understanding is our class main is somewhere here our class main is somewhere here main or program class we have which is having main function isn't it main function class is here now this main function class wants to create one object of this class called manager diagrammatically you understand it will be you will remember for long time so this manager class is having one object called obj manager okay so should i write it here object name is obj manager absolutely fine now here the things are available in this boundary but it has to use it outside so as per our private versus public understanding private says you can use only inside same class public says you can use inside inside same class as well as in other classes so obviously i have to create object because they are all not static so after creating the object just like this you know i created the object here manager obj equal to new manager then what will happen this obj manager will be able to call total income as well as display total income so this one i will make it uh, something blue blue is horrible this time i will make it uh, let's see white and this one i will make it white that means these two guys will be able to access by obj manager okay obj manager but this two guys tax percentage and display income tax should not be accessed that is what our understanding but how to prove it our understanding is correct or not let's do that here i will go to main class already i created the object i will say obj manager dot check it out what is happening here no doubt that object might be having everything but which is accessible have a look can i see display total income is accessible total income is accessible why other two are not coming because they are private so let's call this and somebody will, is over smart he will say hey it is not coming but i will try to call it or let's see what happens dot sidha you have the name of the function you called it directly here check it out what is happening it will say hey you don't have access to this just read the line manager 
class display income function display income tax function is inaccessible due to its protection level that means they have a protection level there that nobody outside my class should be able to use this function so going forward you will see many places where functionality you don't want to share some functionality you want to share by other people some functionality you don't want to share by other people right like for example senior accountant is absent today there are some responsibility of senior accountant you can give it to junior accountant also but some other responsibility you may say that no 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 if he is absent today let it stop today tomorrow will do it but don't you do you do should not do because you are junior guy you should not do senior accountant's work it is secret make sense so wherever you think one class is having some element and that should not be accessible by any of the outside people outside class then you should make it private very simple so here i will not delete this line i will keep it but i will write it here not accessible because it's private and here i will write it is accessible even the outside class because it's public chalo let's think about the variable also i want to display this data total income here and same time i want to display this also there tax percentage i want to display directly let's see whether it is permitting because this understanding is not only for function right this understanding is for variable also so why not we will try to use variable also so i will say console dot write line total income is can i write like this guys directly comma total income no then how to write absolutely object oriented programming na absolutely object oriented program means anything you cannot think about also without object unless it is static so i said opj manager dot total income absolutely fine because those are all kept inside this green color box right unless you lock that open that box you cannot see even that is what the understanding so instead of keeping it in the public place i brought all those things and kept inside the box and i lock that box also and key is with me that key is nothing but this object guys understood or not so unless you have that key you will not be able to open that box that means unless you use this object you will not be able to use any of this property any data member function or anything so this is fine because this is public which one total income but similar thing i will try to do for uh, other variable let's see so what i will write total income tax percentage or simply i will say income tax percentage is if i will forcefully write this tax perc here still it will not say you are allowed directly also will not allowed using object also it will not allowed it is saying i have kept both the things in the box but this is private for me this is public for everybody so those who have the rights to open the box they can use it but even those who have rights to open that box also they cannot use it because it is private maybe inside that box you have kept it in a separate locker you think it that way so private means not accessible outside the class public means accessible outside the class acha this is about outside the class but think about inside the class did anybody stop me to display this or this no have a look total income also i am able to display and tax percentage also i am able to use na so inside the class no restriction guys all the members 
will be accessed between line number 20 to line number 33 because it is class its own class but when you are thinking outside the class then we have to think about is it private or is it public that is one thing Achha, if I am not writing this private also it will behave same because anything that you define inside the class remember very important point I am saying and it is almost times people will ask in interview anything you define inside the class anything whether it's a variable whether it's a function going forward we will be learning more things constructor destructor you know property many things we will learn anything that you define inside the class if it is private okay if it is private that means it will not be accessible outside the class if you are mentioning public it will be accessible inside as well as outside that we already understood now i'm telling if you don't mention anything what will be the default so let me write that here so this is private so if you don't mention any access modifier then by default by default means what you understand automatically okay by default it will be considered as private if private if one condition supply is there understand that private if it is a member of class if it is a member of class if somebody will ask me class itself imagine class itself i didn't write private or public or anything like this class is not a member of class na? class is class so it is internal okay we have one more thing called internal today we don't know what is internal when we learn what is internal then we'll come to know why class is internal by default but members of the class is private by default so as of now just understand if it is inside this boundary line number 22 line number 33 any element if you forgot to mention it will be understood as private so that's why i said conditions apply only if it is a member of the class not the class itself okay so if it is a member of the class so that means i don't need to mention explicitly private it will automatically understand it is private so have a look still i'm not able to access because if you are not mentioning anything it will be by default private but i'll tell you uh, those who have studied c plus plus during your college period and all during c plus plus what was there you know if you don't mention anything it was treated as public there then they thought chances there are many places user will forget na? developer will forget it right many places to mention it explicitly so if it will be by default public then by default if you forget something then it is accessible outside which is lose of security that's why they said if you by chance forget it in java c sharp and all they you know corrected it to private if you forget it then private but in c plus plus if you forget it it was public initially okay so but anyway that was a demerit that's why they corrected it as private so if somebody is forgetting also it will consider as private so that at least security level will be there so by default it will say hey you cannot access it then you will come here and see Acha, I did i forget to make public that's why it is not accessing then i will make it public that's why they said if you forget by mistake it will be private in c sharp all right so here what i will do i will keep this line line number 15 let it be error i will comment it and here i will mention this is not accessible this is not accessible because it's a private function so private function or private variable right side whatever i'm writing english sentence this is for you guys huh? not for programming point of view so comment we say it as comment little right side so that it will not confuse as a program 
so you can see it makes it green color okay that means it's a comment so this is a small concept nothing much but it is root of all future concepts remember so now let's run it and see whether what i'm thinking it is really doing that way or not okay so should i make a console dot read key here yeah any question should i run it so that it may clear your doubt and then you will ask me all right so let's run it and see whether this and this it is accessing or not so as per our expectation in this line line number 10 what is supposed to happen who can tell me in line number 10 line number 10 what exactly we are doing we are calling the function calling the function calling the function means it will come here to line number 26 isn't it and in line number 26 what we have written total income is 10,000 that means very first line in the program we are expecting total income is 10,000 now come there okay compiler start from here now line number 8 because always compiler start from main only so it came here it displayed total income is 10,000 now came to line number 14 don't you think so so in line number 14 what it will do again it will write total income is inside object manager what is total income that so again inside object manager total income is 10,000 only now so that means we are expecting two lines total income is 10,000 total income is 10,000 are you understanding that means before running the program if one round we will think ourselves that what it is going to display then we can easily cross check our understanding is correct or not so as per our understanding we am expecting on the screen there will be two lines total income is 10,000 total income is 10,000 are you all agree with me so let's run it let's run it and see whether it is behaving that way I'll tell you guys, in, in, oops concept, you know, if systematical understanding will not be there, a, one one thing, uh, clarity, then, you know, oops concept is the most difficult concept in programming area. So, uh, but once systematic understanding, it came to us, small, small things, little in detail, then you will feel it like you are the compiler. Okay, anybody did any mistake in the program? You will feel it like uh, your signature has done by somebody else. Easily you can find it out, the mistake. So have a look. We are expecting two lines, 10,000, 10,000, it is displaying. Now you ask me doubt if you have any. Private versus public. Anybody, anything? I think somebody was asking. Yeah, please. That is different, that is different, that is different, don't com uh, compare with that, uh, public and private, yeah, I understood your question, public and private is are called access modifier, okay, access modifier, I wrote the heading access modifier, access modifier means whether can access or whether cannot access, okay, but void means if a function is having void, that means whether it is displaying the result inside the function or returning the result to whoever is calling okay so imagine imagine i don't want to display this result called total income here just for a minute think i don't want to use this line suppose i commented it but i want to say whatever total income whoever is calling this function i will return to him let him take that value whether he is displaying, whether he is do, uh, doing whatever, it is totally up to him. Then we will write here something called return total income. Okay. I have to give instead of word, I have to say decimal. 
okay so then wherever i'm calling this function where we are calling this function here we are calling this function isn't it so now in this line no doubt it will go to this function but it will not display anything it will just calculate and return something that returned value i have to catch it here and then whatever i want to do I have to do it so void versus non void means whether i am displaying the result then and there or i am not displaying it i am returning to whoever is calling okay so void indicates no need to return anything you calculate whatever you want to calculate and you display it then and there no need to return it that is void so no comparison public and private is totally different concept void is totally different concept is that clear no dynamic i have not taught you so that we will discuss later now understand static and non static okay giving providing static and not providing static providing static means call by object sorry call directly but not providing static means it will place inside this object that green color area i said right it's just like a box you can say inside memory it created a something like a box inside that box it is keeping my data then it is non static non static means no static word but the moment i will put that static word what will happen you know instead of putting this total income or tax percentage inside this box it will put that tax percentage somewhere here that means what will happen all the classes all the objects wherever you go in the program they can use this particular variable because it's in public place so that is static versus not using static all right srijit you have some question you have raised the hand oh okay okay ha uh ha -huh. then then no chance wherever boundary is starting there it is starting can you say tell me where this boundary is starting line number 26 right and boundary is closing where line number 30 that means very simple that will only accessible inside that boundary so where we are putting that boundary if i am putting here who is its nearest boundary line number 22 right it is a class member that means not a function member it is a class member if i'll put inside this function it is a function member or we say it as local variable imagine i will say integer x equal to 20 for example that means this x i can only use between this 27 line and 31 line nowhere else forget about forget about other class in the same class also you cannot use it in other function got it that is called local variable but if i will keep that in this label line number 23 24 25 that means it's no more a function internal local variable it is a class variable so class variable means what if i am creating the object of that class i can easily use it ha that object will call this function okay and that function will use that local variable indirectly but directly you cannot why because its accessibility is not more than this line number 27 to 30 na so how you can call the directly there so that is that's why it is called local variable okay anybody else anything yeah go ahead Uh, same thing he asked na no no same question he asked na previous question was same only if i'll put inside line number 28 that become a local variable right no 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 public word is not 
a word for inside function if you make it public or private it will show error because public word means should be accessible outside the class or should not be accessible outside the class okay so this is purely a local variable so nothing called private or nothing called public it is only inside the function only when it is a class variable then only it makes sense to say public or private okay so we cannot at all make a local variable publicly access cannot because it's local means local it will always use inside the function only but if you want to use outside then make sure you are not declaring inside the function you are declaring outside the function that means in the class level okay then makes sense private or public is that clear anybody else divya you have already asked your doubt or it is new regardless of public or private if it is a static and inside same class okay i mean your question is something here ha huh, your question is something here static void my function name is f1 right here some coding is there let's say console dot write line something whatever right so if it is a static then no need of your object that you already understood that means no need to create which object we are talking about which which class it is belongs to so which class is it belongs to program class that means it is saying no need to create object of program class you can directly call it okay f1 see there right but if i'll remove the uh, this static word what is the meaning we understood as per our understanding if it is not having a static word forget about private public private public is altogether a different concept okay so the moment i remove this static regardless it is private public protected whatever it is static is not there na at least you create the object and try to call the function okay so i created the object suppose something called program class object Pro why program class object because that is part of program class only na f1 so i said obj program equal to new program class now if i'll say this obj program dot f1 it will say absolutely fine regardless of private or public why because it's in, in, inside the same class right so as long as it is inside the same class no need to give private or public or protected or internal or anything access modifier access modifier means what the permission to give access if we, if that is that guy is our family member why to say uh, that you will not have access to study room or you will not have access to kitchen room you will not have access to bedroom <laughs> why will say he is a member of our family but if he is outsider then maybe we will say hey you have accessibility to go to the uh, you know uh, entry room or drawing room or waiting room but you don't have access to go to the bedroom that makes sense right so since it is inside this program class that means it is just like inside our family member so no need for giving private public protected anything it will anyway accessible but how to access whether through object or not through or directly it makes sense on static or not static if it is static then directly if it is not having static word through object is that clear so not to get confused i will delete this because this is previous class concept all right anybody else guys Sweta, is it? Yeah. 
you can you can but in that case you have to take the name of the class also which class static okay imagine i have one class manager one class something else you know suppose here i have something called product class okay i'm not hurry because each and every bit of doubt you should get clarified then you have to go to next level imagine i have two functions to answer your question in product class also i have a static function and in you know manager class also i have a static function suppose i have a static you know void uh, f1 simply i will write a line here console dot write line uh, something uh, in manager i will say in manager class same thing i have here also okay i have here also inside uh, i will say product class make sense just for a minute think that i have two more classes apart from program class one is product one is manager absolutely fine both of them they are having one on static function called f1 and f1 content is different maybe functionality may be different but yes they have it now i don't have public here okay first of all don't have public here means what by default what will be here as per our understanding if i didn't mention public explicitly or private explicitly it will be private now this also will be private now first thing is how to call the function for a minute i will take it public imagine we already remembered that it is going to be accessed by outside class so we made it public suppose why because it's going to be accessed by outside the class now where we want to access we want to access in main function somewhere here now tell me if you if they will allow you to call f1 simply like this if they will allow you to call function simply like this how your compiler understand this is manager class f1 or product class f1 don't you think so because both are accessible na? this is also public this is also public this is also f1 function this is also f1 function so what they said you call it no problem but you identify which class f1 so you have to go here you have to say hey you call f1 class f1 uh, sorry manager class f1 okay not the product class f1 so if this f1 could be inside the same class then perhaps you don't need it have a look again i will go to the back i have static void f1 here itself then perhaps i don't need it because f1 is inside the same class but your case is sir my static function is outside the class some other class can i call it absolutely you can call it but yes you must mention the name of the class dot that function and of course if i will have private private itself he says you cannot access outside so whether it is static whether it is non-static anything it will say no i will not allow so that's why you say it public because you want to give the accessibility outside the class and make it static because you don't want to create the object of manager class to call it so in this case how i will call this f1 manager trade f1 okay so quick answer to your question is yes you can call it but the detail answer is you call it no problem but you must mention name of the class dot part of the function is that clear so anyway this kind of things we will cover in future but still psychologically if uh, some doubt will not be clear then maybe um, you will feel that something missing that's why i told you but okay this kind of scenarios we will come across in future also okay but today just understand very simple thing private versus public private means not accessible public means accessible outside the class very simple okay so with that i will end up the class today here let me write private means inside same class okay accessible inside same class 
and public means accessible inside same class as well as in other classes. So this time I will not say with object or without object because with object without object is different concept altogether static versus not static not, not having static versus having static so here i am not even saying with object or without object or anything that is one more concept called whether that function is having static please call by class name not having static please call by object simple okay so protected in internal we will see later so see you guys uh, next class Thank you.